from Jen's Extraordinary Life. Welcome to my make-believe cooking show. Um, today we're going to make something super easy, super yummy. Um, some white chocolate covered cashew candies in the slow cooker. So what you're going to need, <clears throat> um, I'm going to do this with some slow cooker liners. You totally don't have to do that, but if you don't, I would suggest spraying it with... Um, some pan cooking spray or something, but we're gonna line the crock pot with that. Um, you're going to need some either almond bark or which is vanilla flavored um, melting chocolates or some kind of melting chocolates, but I like to use the almond bark and you're gonna need one block. And I had two little pieces left from some other candy that I had made recently, so I'm just gonna add a little bit extra to this and um, use up those two pieces as well. You're gonna need some cashews. Now you could totally do this with peanuts or almonds if you wanted to, and you could do it with um, milk chocolate, but I wanted the white chocolate and cashew combination today. Um, some kind of baking sheet or something to put them on when it's finished. Parchment paper to line that with and some cute sprinkles. It's um, kind of close to Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna do these with some Valentine sprinkles. I picked these up there by Wilton and they're like little kissy lips and some pink sugar and some red, pink, and white sprinkles. And then I also had a sprinkle mix in the pantry that is great value, which has some candied hearts and just a little sprinkle mix in there. But I also have um, someone's birthday coming up and so I just pulled out some regular sprinkles out of my cabinet. Also because I'm gonna put some regular sprinkles on some of them that are not Valentine because I wanna put them in um, with somebody's little birthday present. So I thought that would be fun. Um, anyway, this is so easy. There's really no cooking involved. Technically, it's gonna all be in the slow cooker. I have already um, pulled this out, so let's stick a bag in it and get to going. These um, liners are just make cleanup so easy. <laughs> I just cannot stress enough how much I love them. And I'll put a link in my description. I get them um, from Amazon on subscribe and save because I use them so much. Um, you can, you, if you don't use them all the time like I do, obviously you don't have to put them on subscribe and save and you, you don't have to get them from Amazon either, but um, Walmart probably carries them or whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna break up the chocolate and put it in there. This literally is three ingredients. Chocolate, peanuts, or I mean cashews, and sprinkles. That's it, that's all you need. Um, so you're just gonna break this up. And could you just stick the whole hunk in there? Sure, but breaking it up is gonna help it to melt easier. So, and this is a 27 ounce or one pound thing of cashews that I've already gotten into a little bit. But you're gonna need about about 16 to 18 ounces of cashews for one brick, but I've got that extra two little squares. So I'm gonna put about 20 ounces in there. So almost this whole thing of cashews. And really you can make it as nutty or not nutty as you want, I guess. Um, And I'm just literally sticking this chocolate in here with the nuts. Now, slow cooker on low. That's it. That is it, folks. Um, slow cooker on low, put the lid on. And then I'm gonna let that sit and cook on low for about an hour and a half to two hours. And then we'll come back and stir it um, until it's 
the right consistency, you'll want to keep an eye on it after about two hours on low because uh, you don't want it to burn. This is kind of like haystacks too. You could put some um, potato sticks, is that what they're called I think? Potato sticks in there with the chocolate and make haystacks out of this. You could, like I said, do peanuts or almonds instead. Macadamia nuts would be delicious. You could mix up the chocolate by doing milk chocolate or dark chocolate um, for various holidays. I was thinking it'd be really cute to do um, some green melting um, wafers and peanuts for um, St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why I had a brain freeze there. Um, anyway, you know, you just mix it up and do whatever, but I thought this would be fun. Um, you could do it for birthdays, like I said, with just regular sprinkles. You could um, find some fun sprinkles. Um, places like TJ Maxx and Home Goods, um, Marshalls, they always have like neat, different sprinkles that you don't just find at the regular grocery store. So you might be able to find something really interesting and cool if you have a holiday coming up or even they may have some fun birthday ones um, or something. I'm sure around the holidays, different holidays, they have lots of cool stuff. But I'm going with what I had because this is what I had in the pantry and I was feeling like I wanted to make some candy and I thought it would be a sweet treat to add to a birthday gift. And we have some people coming over tomorrow and so I thought, oh, well, let me just make a little treat. I will see you guys back in about an hour and a half to two hours to stir this and then we'll do the rest. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, you're going to need some kind of scoop. I have the small cookie scoop that I like to use for this, but you could totally just use a tablespoon if you don't have a cookie scoop. All right, I'm gonna see you back in a couple of hours and then we will get to finishing them off. So hang tight. Okay, I'm back and it's been an hour and a half to two hours and all of the um, chocolate has melted and I have stirred, um, when it started getting good and melted, I stirred that up and just to make sure it covered and coated all of that candy and see now that's what it looks like. So um, everything's melted around all these cashews. It looks and smells delicious. And so now we're gonna get to the fun part of it. So I've got my scoop Ooh. and all I'm gonna do is just take these little scoops and put them, I mean, they don't have to be too big because we're wanting them to be bite size. And if you see while you're going through that it's not quite as mixed, like maybe there's not as much chocolate on that scoop or whatever, just stir it around a little bit and get some chocolate on those cashews. And that's all we're doing is just little bite-sized scoops of this candy. And then I'm gonna do, um, I've got four per row, and then I'm gonna sprinkle every couple of rows just so that that, um, let's see, I'll put some pink sugar on these but I want it to stick to that chocolate. And while it's in the crock pot, it's still pretty warm. Um, but once it gets on the tray, it's gonna start cooling. So I don't wanna wait until I get all the way to the end and then maybe um, it's too cooled. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let me get the camera over here and show you, as these are drying, um, I'll put it up on the screen and let you guys see. And then I'll also, once they have cooled, you're gonna wanna let these get completely cooled and let that chocolate harden back up. 
before you serve them. You could put them in the fridge to do that. I'm just gonna leave them out on the counter and let them cool that way. Um, but if you had, you know, an event or something coming and you needed to speed this process up a little bit, you could put them in the fridge to cool them. Um, but I'll show you what they look like. I'm gonna cut one open and show you how it looks once it's cut open and everything so you can see what you're gonna be biting into. It's gonna be super exciting. I would eat one right now, but they're not hardened yet. So I know they're gonna be delicious. I mean, it's chocolate and cashews. How can you go wrong? I hope you enjoyed this kind of thing. If you did, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you for coming to my Make Believe Cooking Show today. Hey, I'd love for you to drop a comment and let me know ideas of how we could decorate these um, in other ways. I was thinking, you know, I could with these white ones, if it was not a holiday season per se that I was taking them for, I could just take some milk chocolate and melt it and drizzle that over the white chocolate. That'd be kind of fun. But I would love to hear some other ideas from you guys about how you could use these little candies and package them up and everything else. So um, thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for subscribing to my channel, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for all of that. Um, and until next time, I hope you have an extraordinary life. Bye-bye.